Um, I stand corrected. <laughs> Fox News has obtained and shared with your office roughly 180 pages of call logs from the office of Cheryl Mills covering a two-year period when she was chief of staff to Secretary Clinton, as you have seen. The individual who left the greatest number of messages for Ms. Mills in that period of time by an exponential order was Laura Graham, then the chief operating officer for the Clinton Foundation, close to 150 in the two-year time frame. As you know, this evidence arises at a time when many questions have been raised about whether the Clinton State Department, and specifically Ms. Mills, maintained an appropriate distance from the Clinton Foundation. Can you tell us why Ms. Graham and Ms. Mills were in such close and constant contact? Well, uh, a couple of uh, uh, things to say about this. First of all, um, just to step back and uh, um, address what uh, James is referring to, these are logs uh, that were, in effect, spreadsheets uh, that were maintained by uh, who was then an, uh, an assistant to uh, Chief of Staff uh, Cheryl Mills uh, to track, uh, as you can imagine, the large volume of incoming calls that she received uh, about a range of issues. And um, uh, these documents were released through the FOIA process, uh, I think back in April. Um, so it's no surprise, of course, as I just think I said to Arshad, that uh, State Department officials are, are, are in contact with a range uh, of outside individuals and organizations, including nonprofits, NGOs, and of course think tanks and, and others. Um, and that's certainly true with uh, uh, with Ms. Mills. Uh, I would also state, uh, and again, I don't know if I'm inferring from your uh, from your question. I wouldn't want to do that, but uh, Secretary Clinton's ethics agreement at the time did not preclude other State Department officials from engaging with or having contact with the Clinton Foundation. Um, so you're right, there are these, uh, I guess, 100 and approximately 150 messages. Um, I, I can't give you a, a, a readout of every one of those messages or every one of those calls, rather, and in fact, how many of the calls were returned and, or connected. Um, all I can say, and I would go back to, again, what I just said, explained to our shot is, you know, I would note that the State Department at the time uh, was, and certainly uh, Cheryl Mills uh, uh, individually, was a, a coordinating hub uh, for U.S. and international efforts to, uh, relief efforts in the wake of the uh, 2011 uh, Haiti earthquake. And as I said, uh, uh, Cheryl Mills, uh, personally led those uh, efforts throughout her tenure here. Um, and former President Clinton also played uh, a role as a coordinator for relief efforts in his role as the U.S. Special Envoy, or U.N. Special Envoy for Haiti. Um, so uh, again, uh, I don't want to uh, speculate, but that could well be the reason why there were these calls, uh, simply uh, coordinating on what was uh, one of the uh, premier or most significant uh, foreign relations issues of the time. On one occasion, Ms. Graham left a message for Ms. Mills referencing, quote, our boss, unquote. Did Ms. Graham and Ms. Mills have the same boss? <laughs> I, I can't speculate as to who they were referring to. I just don't know. I didn't was. ask you to do that. I just asked, did they have the same boss? They did boss? not have the same boss. I can answer that. Uh, with these call logs fresh in mind, can you still assure the American people that the Clinton State Department maintained at all points an appropriate distance from the Clinton Foundation? Again, we have seen no evidence of any uh, behavior, any uh, relations with the Clinton Foundation that weren't completely above board. Uh, and in this case, uh, it's likely that uh, what they were dealing with uh, during many of these calls was the immediate aftermath of the uh, Haiti earthquake. And 